absolutely no energy and uh, that's when I start taking I might even double up on the Antinex because it and then I and sometimes I cry because that's the easiest thing to do David Cunnington, I'm a sleep physician and what that means is I'm a doctor who's specialised in looking after people with sleep problems uh, and so my week consists of seeing people who've got trouble with sleep. So insomnia is when people have difficulty getting to sleep, staying asleep or they feel that sleep's not working, they're not getting that sort of restorative effect from sleep. And we think of insomnia as being acute or short term if it's less than four weeks and then chronic or longer term if it's greater than four weeks. Well, basically, I think I realized suffering from insomnia when I had so much stuff to do on my hands. Like I had to deal with a family, three kids. Um, I think when I was more in the situation of a, uh, was, there was a lot of domestic violence. And so therefore I had to be alert. That's basically how it all started, I think. There were nights when I couldn't sleep properly because my husband would say, you can't go to bed until I come to bed. So that was, I think, part, of, part and parcel of how I couldn't, uh, I was not in control of my sleeping patterns. Someone else dictated that to me. So there are a couple of general things about insomnia. So one is it's really distressing for people. So having difficulty with sleeping that just seems to go on night after night with no clear sort of explanation or trigger factors, it's just really distressing for people. Behind the medical problem would be mental health problems like depression and anxiety. About 40% of people with depression will have difficulty with insomnia and similar sort of proportions with anxiety. So you're very, very common with those conditions. I saw the doctor, I suffer memory loss. Memory loss is because I'm sleep, sleep deprived. The other thing I do a lot of is that I, because of my memory loss, which I just now read out to you guys, I have to write down literally everything I do. I mean, can you imagine a person writing down so much information just on one week, okay? So everything that I do has to be written out but if I don't do it, I just can't survive. I'm constantly, I've replaced all that sadness with positive things. So one after the other, I have, uh, you know, uh, I'm in contact with uh, with filming, with writing blogs, with doing my own view videos, YouTube videos on teaching methods for disciplining kids. So there's, there's all that added stress, but there is it's all positive stress. Uh, as I said, I'm managing my cancer. The prognosis was short. Initially, it was up to five years max. 
Uh, but I've been now with 1997. I don't remember anymore. This is, again, part of the memory loss. I tried to make it as as loving an environment as possible. I listened to some a CD which I have, which is aimed really, I put it on for my cancer initially. And it's quite relaxing. I sleep less, but hey, I get stacks of time. I've time, tons of time to do work. Everyone's waiting. Where am I waiting? I'm waiting in bed, sleeping. So that too, I can handle. So that for me is an upside. So my head is a cherry without a core. My mind is a dwelling without a door. My heart is a palace for everyone here. Unlocked, unhappy, and sleeping without fear. So my head is the cherry without a core. My mind is a dwelling.